hey guys so what have i been doing um well since i graduated i um adopted a kitten um i adopted a kitten and um her name is mariposa which in spanish mariposa means um butterfly and i call her mari for short um the way that i so this is her this is mariposa my kitten She's really like, I'm not even gonna front and play. Um, like, well, let's just like tune into her. So yeah, she's, um, yeah, I'm not gonna just play like she stays in my hand. She really doesn't. Um, <laughs> like she is four months old. Hey baby, hi mommy. Oh my gosh, she's being so sweet right now. Does she know she's on camera? Because she's usually not so sweet to me. Maybe because she's a little tired or whatever. But, um, yeah, so we're just going to keep the camera focused on her since this is about her, my little boo. So, a little background on Mani. So, she's four months old. I got her at the Catter Day event um, um, at the ASPCA. And um, the Catter Day event is actually free. You get the cat and you get um oh why is she so nice right now no guys i'm gonna be like very honest she's usually not so nice to me um i'm not gonna lie like she's definitely an alpha cat um so i want to do a whole series about marty and basically show you guys her growing up and everything um and just like the realistic way i'm raising my cat my kitten in new york city and you know training her and everything uh we currently like have her like th like this is her bed in the crate at four months she's very rambunctious and she's a little bit of a harm to herself even with cat proofing my my pretty much my life um but she's growing and we're training and we're doing what works for us with her um and eventually i'm gonna put her on a leash and allow her to be a somewhat outdoor cat like take her to central park and have her experience different things that way she's very very hyperactive right now i think she just kind of like woke up for her nap or whatever um but just a little bit about the catterday event catterday happens the day after thanksgiving um at the aspca on the east side in manhattan and yeah so you get the cats for free and they come with their shots their papers um you get to pick out you know uh, a cat you want um art i told you about my laptop so, oh, that's my headphones, though. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so, and then also they give you a voucher, some free food, and some other stuff. I had already been prepared for a cat before, um, Mari, because I had fell in love with a stray cat that I named Gatito, and, um, that kind of went completely left. He was not trying to get himself adopted, and I, and I found out he was, like, over 11 years old, so it kind of wasn't going to work out, um, but yeah, so basically, um, it, it was a long haul to try and get her. I, I kind of like auditioned another street cat who was like kind of in love with his owner, which was just like the super of um, a building nearby. And, and that was a whole ordeal. I, I should make a video about that. Um, but yeah, do not let her um, nice disposition at the time being like fool you. Like she's definitely she's bad like <laughs> like i love her to death you know and most of my day revolves around her especially since she, she's a kitten she eats about three times a day um and i also give her kitten milk so she eats a kind of like a combination of kitten milk wet food and uh like dry food kibble um so i trade off duties um with um family members and we make sure she gets everything that she needs she doesn't drink from a bottle. She definitely drinks. I'll show you her little setup down here. It's her little bowl. That's her water bowl. Her scratch. Baby. Okay. Her water bowl. I got a hooded litter box. And if you're thinking about getting um, uh, a cat and you have a small space, um, I would definitely say get a hooded one because it does help prevent some of the smell. And these are like wee wee pads. Bed's in there. Usually the door is open. Um, yeah, we leave the door open, but she'll crawl in 
she'll crawl in kind of like on her own for the most part she knows it's safe there and when you get kind of like a street cat you do want to make sure that they feel safe um and they all they actually suggest uh just sectioning the cat to a small room if you're if you live in new york you probably don't have a small room so they say keep them in the bathroom and just lock them in there for like two weeks but we didn't do that so we just used the combination of the crate leaving it open and closed and we didn't let her out of my room for um, well i think we didn't let her out of my room for about a few days but you know she got to be socialized and uh, she just took a piece of my candy. I know what she's got. She's got my candy. Um, yeah, and, and on the wires, we put this thing called um, sticky. Hold on, I'm going to take it back to me for a second. I think it's called um, bitter sticky. Uh, I have to find it. I have to find, a, you know, um, the link so that she's not attracted to the wires because I do have a lot of wires in my room. So it kind of like the taste is like bad and it just kind of like they don't like the scent so they don't bite the wires because they will bite wires. So basically, it's not even that they like wires, they like string. So they'll bite anything that kind of looks like string is the thing. So there's a lot more I can say about Madi. I kind of want to keep this short. I'm going to put either in another video or in this video kind of like Maddie's first day home with me because I did record that so that's really cool and um yeah and we can just like watch Monty grow up like she's definitely an alpha cat like I said um there's an article that I'll probably link below about alpha beta and gamma cats and basically alpha cats are very decisive they're leaders they are not trying to listen to you they're very hard to train and that's why i have to put extra effort now to train her but she she is a sweetheart granted she's a sweetheart when she wants to be but she's definitely a sweetheart and i love her she's changed my life like the first night she got here i totally cried i cried like i held her paws and i cried i was like oh you like changed my life like i was having some maternal instincts and I was just like, she's definitely filled those in a way that's manageable. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because she's just a little kitten. So I love Monty so much. And I'm so happy that I adopted her. And I'm a cat mom now. And I'm officially all about that cat life. And um, definitely going to do more videos featuring Monty. And either in this episode or the next episode, I'll show you the first day she was here. Let's say goodbye to Monty. Monty. Goodbye. Okay, so it's day one. I literally just brought Mariposa home. And um, she's like investigating her environment and like looking around at things, sniffing things. You get a poo. <laughs> And she's just like getting used to her environment. So I'm just like.